In his first official address post a vote of no confidence, Education Minister Lucas Dekene labeled the plan as homegrown and emphasized the importance of education in PNG. Fellow citizens, without education, each child, family, province, and PNG would be le left behind by the world. The world is moving at a fast pace. If you travel overseas, you will see people are literally slaves to time. While in PNG, you would see that we've got a lot of time running around doing nothing. Education is critical to saving the future of our country. Our country is at the crossroads. And it is us who must partner and collaborate to decide what we want for our future. The minister highlighted the crucial need for collaboration among all stakeholders. I am asking each and every one of everyone to fully participate and have a meaningful dialogue to help develop a vision, a homegrown vision. The vision, the plan is developed by Papua New Guineans. Papua New Guineans to be qualified, educated and smart. This is what we want to produce through our education system. We must reassess how we educate our citizens to ensure they become productive, responsible members of our society and be competitive with the rest of the world. Minister Dekene expressed pride in continuing the work of the former education minister Noting the plan's nobility, he shared statistics indicating that while 130,000 students enrolled each year, only 30,000 make it to grade 12, underscoring the need to address these gaps. The plan aims to identify such shortcomings, key issues in the current education system, and assess the relevance of the existing structure and system. The minister also urged the public to participate in the public consultation taking place at Mount Hagen Secondary School Hall starting today and concluding this Friday, indicating that it is crucial for everyone to engage in this dialogue to collectively shape the future of education in our region and province. Consultations of the Southern Islands, Hela, Enga and Western Islands this is a launch aimed at shaping the 50-year vision for education in Papua New Guinea. Over the next 12, uh, two months, we will engage with com communities across the country. We invite educators, parents, students, community leaders, and all stakeholders, not forgetting the churches, church representatives, to participate in these discussions. Sharon Engnui. National MTV News, Mount Hagen.